translated and apostilled birth certificate from California going to Mexico. My name is Rufus. I'm the notary dude here in Los Angeles, California. I do a lot of general notary work and also process a lot of apostilles, mostly California apostilles, mostly birth certificates, and usually going to either Mexico or the Philippines. So basically, let's understand this. What is an apostille? If you have a document you're wanting to use in a foreign country, let's say like a birth certificate, that foreign country doesn't believe that that is a true certified birth certificate. So they're going to say, I want you to take that birth certificate that you have. I want you to take it to the Secretary of State, whoever issued that birth certificate, in this case is California, and we want them to certify that birth certificate to say that it's an actual true birth certificate. When you go in to do that, they're going to look at that birth certificate and see what government entity you know, signed or issued that birth certificate. At that point, if everything looks correct, the correct person signed it, it looks real, they will put a stamp on it and a certificate, which is called an apostille. Now, in this circumstance, this is kind of what it looks like right here. This is the document itself. This is the apostille stamp right there. You see how they do that and it matches up with both the document itself and also the apostille certificate. That way, this cannot be copied. I have a lot of people who say, well, can you send it to me in a PDF format? How, how am I gonna PDF that? That's why these are so tricky to get and why they're so valuable is because they can't be copied. Once the apostille is completed, you see here we have staples uh, going down the sides. There's another one right here. Once you get this, it cannot be tampered with. Staples cannot be taken out. Um, they cannot be photocopied. You can't separate the pages. At that point, it's gonna make the apostille non-valid. So this one right here happens to be a translated copy of a birth certificate. Right here, we have the actual uh, jurat form that is from the translator who translated it. And then behind here, we have the documents of the actual uh, translation that are gonna be right here. So if you need to get something like this, my name is Rufus, I'm the notary dude here in California. Listen, the process of getting an apostille can be confusing, especially if you have to get it translated first. There's lots of different translations out there, lots of different translation co companies that are out there. Some of them are good, some of them are a little, Ugh. I go with the best. So I get your birth certificate, from there I look at it and make sure it's issued by the correct government entity. At that point I can get the apostille done for that. I then send it to one of the uh, translators who I work with here in Los Angeles and they are excellent. They're good at what they do, they're licensed, they have the correct stamp that goes along with it. So, if you have a birth certificate, death certificate, marriage certificate, any document whatsoever that you need to get translated and apostilled, give me a call. You see the stamp right there, that's exactly what you're looking for. My name is Rufus, my contact information is below. All I need is basically the document that you need to have translated and apostilled. I can handle the rest from there. If you want to text me a picture of it, I can tell you immediately if we can get the document itself apostilled and also I can go on with the translation. So numbers below, if you need to get a translated copy, apostilled copy of a document, a birth, death, marriage certificate, power attorney form, hit me up. My contact information is below.